also get ready to start the week off with some cuteness overload. Yeah, speaking of adorable, Houston Life correspondent Lauren Kelly, she's out in Brookshire. She's adorable. She is super cute. <laughs> That's not where I was going with this. <laughs> but also what she's doing today is super cute. She is with a group that's helping rescue and rehabilitate, get this, little pigs. Little and we piggies. can see some of them behind you. Lauren, green assignment. Yes. Okay, so has your mom ever told you your room looks like a pigsty? This is what an actual pigsty looks like. I'm here with Megan. She's the president of the Houston Mini Pig Rescue, and she's got the food out right now. That makes her the woman of the minute because obviously you can see what mini pigs are doing with most of their time. They love to eat. They love to roll around in the mud, and they just love to just chill out here in the sun. Megan's going to bust some of these myths for us if she can get on over here. Yeah. Megan, let's talk a little bit about what goes into adopting a mini pig. Well, first you have to know that they don't stay teeny tiny. Yeah, um, let's just point out when people think mini pig, you're thinking like babe, you know, yeah. like teeny tiny. Look at these. These are the mini pigs that are upwards of 150 pounds. Yes, yes. Okay. And they can get up to 300 pounds. Okay. Um, a lot of cities in Harris County will not allow you to have a mini pig. Okay. Um, Pearland, Pasadena, the city of Houston, Spring Branch, um, all that being said, <laughs> um, the unincorporated portions of Harris County, anybody can have a mini pig. Anybody can have a pig. Now, there are rules when you go to adopt. You have to actually get a house visit and you yes. have to make sure you're capable yes. because it's like having a toddler, like a three-year-old toddler. It's not like a dog or a right, cat. Right, exactly. What other things do you need to know before adopting a mini pig? They can live for 20 years. Okay. They have socialization. They need to be, they need to have toys. They need to have interaction. They need to have love. Okay. They need to have all of that. So you just got to give them the love and the tenderness and, and a little bit of extra mud, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, if they're air conditioned, I have some pigs at the house that refuse to go in mud. Let's tell people a little bit about what they're eating. As a treat, you were giving them peppermints and animal crackers. But yes. what is actually in the pig feed? In the pig feed, it's a, a plant-based. Um, there's soy, there's corn, there's uh, selenium, potassium. Zinc, those are all super important in the pig diet. It's not just slop. No, slop is horrible okay, for pigs. Okay. Um, if you give your pig slop, you're giving them the same thing that you would be eating. Okay, I mean, which is not it's good for their system. Right. Um, I know you have a lot of great information. If anybody has questions, if you're interested in adopting a mini pig, yes. can they get a hold of you? Absolutely. Okay. HoustonMiniPigRescue.com. Okay, and after we come back in a little bit, we are going to see some of the teeny tiny ones. Yes. But they're not teacups. They're just smaller. They're babies. They're babies. So hang around. We're going to be back with all, the, all my new friends today <laughs> here at the Houston <laughs> Mini Pig Rescue. Megan, thank you for hanging with us today. Thank you. Derek and Courtney, back to you guys. Oh, oh Lauren, my gosh, so much so fun. Cute. Don't you love how they're all wagging their tails, too? They're so happy. Mm. Some people say pigs are smarter yeah, than dogs. And that means they're happy. Yes, yeah, so okay. cute. Okay, well, there you go. Lauren, uh, as a reminder, we will be checking back in with you a little later on in today's show because we want to see those baby, baby pigs. The baby, baby pigs. She is the president of the Houston Mini Pig Rescue, and we have moved into the baby piglet den. <laughs> And I've learned so much so far. These pigs are actually very clean. I know when yes. a lot of people think of pigs, they're like, ew, dirty mud. And yes, they like to play in the mud. They roll around in the water. But they're actually very clean animals. They are. The reason they go in the mud is to cool off. And then on hot summer days when there's a lot of sun, okay. it also acts as a sunscreen. For oh, them, so don't okay. Get sunburn. Now, we mentioned earlier that as a treat, they like peppermints. Absolutely. And they like animal cookies. So should we try to get them on over here? Yes. There's, how many do we have in here? Seven, Seven. in this pig? Let's see. Can you tell us the names of the piggies we have in here? This one here in the front is Stuart. Hey, Stuart. The Come one on. coming beside him is Harbor. Uh, Harbor. Hi. Okay. Oh, no, you want to change your mind? And now tell everybody they're named after places in Galveston that they were found. Yes. Okay. Um, this litter has a tragic story. The mom was dumped with a litter of four. Okay. And then she got pregnant again and mm -hmm. had six piglets. Okay. Well, there was a wonderful man feeding them for three weeks, and then he contacted us on Saturday. Mm -hmm. That Friday, a man had found two of the older piglets dead. Aw. And the mom and the piglet from their litter hadn't been seen in a week. So you take everybody in that you can, and we yes. also need people help uh, to come and adopt if they would like to absolutely. do that. Absolutely, yes. And you're looking for a new space. We are absolutely looking Tell for Tell everybody a new space. how they can help you find a new space or be a part of it. Um, well, we are doing 
many, many fundraisers um, to raise the funds for our space. Um, we obviously have to stay out in the country where it's safe for the mm -hmm. pigs and where we can have a barn and where they have plenty of room to roam. Okay. Um, we've moved three separate times while we've been in here mm -hmm. for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. um, this pasture up here, these pens, they flood. Yeah. Um, we've got some issues with a few of the neighbors. Right. Um, so... We just need to find something out this Well, way. with all the great that you do for them, I hope that we can help you find some new space because these guys are so cute. Look at them. Look at these guys. I'm going to take a couple home. Do you think that'd be okay? <laughs> I wonder if I have enough space in my house. <laughs> Well, if you'd like more info on the Houston Mini Pig Rescue, where can they find your website? We are at HoustonMiniPigRescue.com. All right, Megan, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having us. Derek and Courtney, want me to bring you guys a, a baby piglet? They I can are bring you some. so cute. How about I know two? Courtney's boys yeah. would love it. They would love it. And I also <laughs> love Megan's name tag. That is so cute. Have fun out there, Lauren. Yeah.